നമുക്ക് മത്തായി സുവിശേഷം ഒൻപതാം അധ്യായത്തിലേക്ക് നമ്മുടെ ശ്രദ്ധയായിട്ടിരിക്കാം നമുക്ക് വായിക്കാം according to Matthew chapter 9 verses 35 to 38 for the constraints of time I'm only reading in English Jesus was going through all the cities and villages teaching in the synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every kind of disease and every kind of sickness seeing the people he felt compassion for them because they were distressed and dispirited like sheep without a shepherd then he said to his disciples the harvest is plentiful but the workers are few therefore beseech the lord of the harvest to send out workers into his harvest and to speak about uh, the emergency of gospel proclamation the emergency emergency that is involved in evangelization suvisheshikaranam ana dautyathil dautyam etra adiyandara pradhanyam ulladana ennu enikku munnilulla alpa samayam undu ee bhagathil adhishthitamay samsaripan njan thalpirum we will know all know about an emergency situation an emergency speaks about a crisis situation emergency endu parayunnathu gurudaramaya oru adiyandara swabhavamulla oru khattate kuricha or emergency endu parayum endukonda suvisheshikarana vanna dautyam oru emergency ila athava adiyandara pradhanyam arhikkina oru dautyam aanu karyam aanu endu parayum vanna konam kaaranamaagunnathu because we in evangelization in the preaching of the gospel we face a crisis not only of life and death but a crisis involving death and eternal hell fire jeeva jeevan marana sangarsham ulla oru situationil sahajrathil ulla oru dautyam annalla adinekkal upariyayittu maranam അതിന് അനന്തരമായിട്ടുള്ള നിത്യ നരകവും ഒരു വ്യക്തിക്ക് ഉണ്ടാകുവാൻ ഇടയാകുന്ന ഒരു സാഹചര്യത്തിൽ ചെയ്യുവാനുള്ള ദൗത്യമാണ് സുവിശേഷീകരണം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് സി ജി സ്റ്റഡ് എന്ന കഥാവിന്റെ ദാസൻ പറഞ്ഞത് നെവർ പിറ്റി എ മിഷണറി നെവർ പിറ്റി എ മിനിസ്റ്റർ ഓഫ് ദ ഗസ്ബൽ റാദർ എൻ വി ഹിം എൻ വി ഹെ because he is there where life is at stake and redemption is possible oru suvishesha prakriye lerpettirikkunna oru missionary suvishesha pravartakare kuriche anigamba thonugi alla vendiyathu prathida asuya thonugi aanu vendiyathu kaaranam avan aval ulpettirikkunnathu oru jeevan marana sangarshathil vidudal veendeduppa sadhyamaya ഒരു ദൗത്യത്തിലാണ് ഇങ്ങനെയുള്ള വ്യക്തി ഏർപ്പെട്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് മുമ്പാകെ പ്രേക്ഷിത ദൗത്യം ശുശ്രൂഷ ചെയ്ത് പത്താം അധ്യായത്തിൽ അവർ ചെയ്യാൻ പോകുന്ന ശുശ്രൂഷയ്ക്ക് മുമ്പായി അവർ എങ്ങനെ ഈ പ്രേക്ഷിത പ്രേക്ഷിത ദൗത്യത്തിൽ ഏർപ്പെടണമെന്ന് കാണിച്ചു കൊടുത്ത ഒരു മാതൃക ശുശ്രൂഷയായി നമുക്ക് കണക്കാക്കാം you know it can be considered as a model ministry that jesus did an involvement in mission that jesus did before sending his disciples out into different places to do his ministry and that's why i have chosen this passage to for our consideration this morning three very important things that i want to share from this passage this morning ഈ ഭാഗത്ത് നിന്ന് മൂന്ന് പ്രധാന കാര്യങ്ങൾ നമുക്ക് ഒരുമിച്ച് ചിന്തിക്കാം എന്ന് ഞാൻ താല്പര്യപ്പെടുന്നു ഉള്ള സമയത്തിൽ ഞാൻ അതിനായിട്ട് പരിശ്രമിക്കാം ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഓൾ ദ 
the method of the mission of Jesus. Secondly, the motivation of the mission of Jesus. And thirdly, the basis of the mission of Jesus. And that's what we are going to look at within the time that I have this morning. And the Mundula Samitil, Munda Pradhana Garigan, Eshuinde, Susru Shred, Preshida, Dautia Tinde, Mother, Ridi, Epragara Mulagarigan, Randa, Eshuinde, Preshida, Dautia Tinde, Motivation, Prayana, Aram, Yenda Idan, Munda, Eshu, Cheda, Preshida, Dautia Tinde, Adamanam, Cheyenda, Preshida, Dautia Tinde, Adharam, Adistanam, Yenda Idan. Let us look at the mother of the mission of Jesus. Kadawa Yes Krustu Chaida Susru Shuda Prashida Dauta Tinde Ridi Namuka Noka. First of all, his mother was to go. We read Jesus was going. Jesus was going. He himself said to his disciples, therefore, go and make disciples. Ningal, boy, Shishan Mari, Padipichum, Prasangichum, Snana Padukim, Nyaniko, the Kalpich, the K, Manusari Panda Kavanam, Matulavari, Shishiraki, Kulvi, Ningal, boy, Ningal, boy. Kadavaran Ningal, I got the very game, put up the bog game, Matul Kanda the game to Ningal, you will come in, go out. And you will find pasture. Many times we are so foolish to sit back and wait for people to come to us instead of going to people where they are. Jesus went after people. He did not sit back waiting for people to come to him. And we are supposed to go after people. Where our people are, Ningal Boy. How many of us are trying to go to people instead of waiting for people to come to us? Janangal Matulavar Avishaka Namude Aduteke Varuan Katri Kindadil Nda Vetyastamai Janangal de Aditekya Yarangi Chalavan Avishaka de Aditekya we have been waiting for a long time. Instead of going to the people, we have wasted so much of time waiting for people to come to us, come to the church. Instead of reaching your people with the love of Jesus. I remember a story, American Civil War, when the civil war was taking place, many people who did not have any training in battle were drafted into both the sides. And in one of the sides, one of them was a farmer by name Jim. When the day's battle was over, when the people came back to their camps, Jim was nowhere to be found. So the people thought that either he was killed in the day's battle or he was taken as a prisoner by the enemy. So they were all pitying, they were all talking about him, saying that poor Jim, he might have got killed. Pawan Jim, one of the Christian guys, Satrika Pritchiri Kamanala, our Parliament Rikimbol, Randuba, Manatil Pude, a Kamilik and Adana Aditubar in the Kandu, Sunday. Our Sadhija Noki Manasai, on the Jim Mailu, our Mumbai and Narakan the Alane, or in the Tokin the Munay, or the Tadamagar Raya and Pritchibun Varega. All the people got so excited. They asked him, Jim, how did you manage to get him? Where did you catch him from? Jim was very angry. He said, you are asking me where I got him from? Well, the woods are full of them. Go out and catch one for yourself. Jim said, I'm going to 
കിട്ടിയാൽ പോയി നിങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണമെങ്കിൽ പിടിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് വന്നുകൊള്ളുകയിൽ എന്ന് പറയുന്നു എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് പോലെ കർത്താവ് പറഞ്ഞു of our ministry. We concentrate on 
Let us understand the method of Jesus' ministry, preaching, teaching, healing. Maybe these days we not only preach the name of Jesus, we better teach the people also to be rooted and grounded in the word of God. We not only preach and teach the people, we start exercising the power that the Lord has given us by stretching our hands and touching people and giving them, uh, uh, kind of allowing them to go through the process of healing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As I go now time, let me go forward quickly and finish. Secondly, what was the driving force of Jesus' mission? As you in the mission, the pressure the doctor in the prayer and our karma, in the Idol, in the Sultan of the King, out here in the Rikan, our The compassion that he had on the people, on their physical needs, for their spiritual needs, people who were dead in sins and trespasses, people who were following empty ways of life, looking at them, Jesus felt compassion on them. The driving force of Jesus' mission was nothing but compassion. It was not simply a pity, a sympathy that he felt on the people. Janet in the mail, Pavatil Chief Chamber, Taniki Domi, but a sympathy for Jalla or in other, but a compassion, Manas Salim in a culture. What is the meaning? The word compassion means to be moved inwardly, to earn with tender mercy and affection and pity being moved in the deepest part of a person. There is a question mark on what we are involved in today. The preaching of the gospel today, the teaching and the ministry that we do today. Why are we doing what we are doing? Now in the Chayyandava, Yandavanda Chayyandava. Is it because we are moved from inside? We are moved inwardly. Yes, we do believe that. Janate Kuchu Manasari with only one. Yenda Karam Mungari and Paranachunda. When he looked at the people, he found the crowds harassed and distressed. Our Kudanyavarai Kandu and I did it. Kudanyavarai Kandu. That means. The word harassed or Puranyavar, Puranyavirida, that means, you know, they were about to fall. A person can stand no more, just about to collapse. That's what this passage is talking about. When he looked at the people, he found the people about to fall, about to collapse. Life weighed them down. Religion weighed them down. The rituals of the religion weighed them down. Sin weighed them down. And the crowds were harassed. Pavat in the Agrityat in the Bharam, Chuman, Vila Raya, Nashta Pettaboga Raya, or Janadadi and Deshuganda. When we try to involve in the work of the Lord, why do we do that? Are we moved from within, knowing? that they are about to be fallen. You know, sin is weighing them down. Religion is weighing them down. The rituals are weighing them, weighing them down. Being moved, looking at the people and understanding what their condition is. Scattered, helpless, dispirited. They wanted about not knowing where to go. Yevda Pogyanavan Ariyade, Angotu Minyotum, Odi Nadakinda wanted to change the world. You know, restrictive religions were there. Permissive religions were there. Epicurianism was there. No religion was there. Ethism was there. 
people did not know where to go. Chuchuwada ko kiya, inno madhu dhani aro kada kaadu kada, people did not know where to turn to. Yevdi adhiri yedda dhani aari yade, kudengo orai, chinyo orai nirkin na jira. Muna avda kata avda kya kata dhani, ide nila ka, aadi gale po hai, chidari, nadak dhani jira. People went astray. The leaders and teachers, the priests, the, the people who were religious were not interested in bringing the people, in tending the people, in looking after them. In my opinion, the people who are in the market, the people who are in the market, the people who are in the market, my people have been a lost sheep wandering over the mountains and hills and forgot their own. students 
They have to throw, bring people from here and there, giving so many enticements, allurements, incentives. No more people and people responding to the gospel of Christ to be ministers of the gospel. Thank you, Mark. 